Hi everyone. In last week's episode of Monkey Shorts, we took multiple columns and combined them into a common delimited text string in order to join an address field. Not too bad, right? I mean, we had different options to do it and it was all driven through the user interface. But what happens if your values are actually spread down multiple rows within a single column and you need to do the same thing? There's no user interface for that. And that is the focus of this week's Monkey Shorts. So let's go take a look at our data here. You can see we've got an employee table. We've got employee one, two, and three, and we have a street, city, province, and country for each one. And over in the next column, we have the values that go with those fields. And I wanna join these into some nice common delimited address fields for a mail out. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill my employee down here. So we'll go fill down, there we go, nice. And now what I wanna do is I wanna try and actually start the process of building this out. So I'm gonna use a custom column for this, and I'm gonna make a new column, which I'm gonna call address. Seems logical enough. And we're gonna use this cool formula called text.combine. And what text.combine wants is it wants a list to start with. And the first part of this that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the previous step name, which is filled down. So we're gonna go uh, our hashtag here, and we're gonna type in filled down. But then we also need to know what column we want from that step. So this is gonna be a square brace and value to get into that column. I'm now gonna go and say comma, and it'll ask me what do we wanna use for a separator. So we're gonna go quote, comma, quote, and close the parenthesis. And at this point, I can now go and hit okay, and you'll see that I get some nice combined text. The problem though, what you can see is that every single record from this entire column has been combined, so I've got everybody's address all in one. And that's not awesome either. But I feel like I'm getting somewhere pretty close. So if I go back and look at this formula, this is pretty close to what I want. I'm just gonna go copy this for a second, hit cancel, and now delete this step. And here's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna take this and subdivide my data down a little bit. So we're gonna go to transform, group by. We're gonna group by the employee, but I'm gonna use this awesome all rows operation to keep the data rows that were used for the grouping. And what you can see now is I get my nice little table for employee one, employee two, and employee three. And now here comes the cool part. We're gonna go add column, custom column. We'll call this one address. And now I'm gonna drop in the same formula that I used before, but instead of actually referring to the filled down step, what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna to refer to the data column in this table by just swapping that out with square braces. So it's gonna look in the data table and then it's gonna look within the value column and combine those together. And now when I say okay, boom, there we go. We've now actually taken multiple rows and turned them into a nice text string. And what's also awesome about this, you'll notice that even though Auckland had no province listed with it, that got suppressed in here so we don't have a comma comma in this particular area. So that's pretty cool. Now that I have that, I can actually just delete the, the data column and I'm good to go. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.